I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be testing another vintage item and it is this never before used 1970s Breville Melita coffee maker. This is actually my brother's and I figured it's been in my house for many years and I don't really see the point of having useless gadgets that I don't use. So I have decided to give her a go and see how she fares. I should say I am not a coffee drinker at all. I have had two cups of coffee in my entire life. First being a pumpkin spice latte because I just had to see what all the hype was about. And the second one was at a photo shoot because even though I asked for a tea, I got given a coffee and my social anxiety was just like, nope, just drink it and smile politely because I didn't want to make a fuss. Whilst doing some research, I managed to find the original advert for this coffee maker, which actually shows the steps on how to use it. So thank you whoever put that up on YouTube. You're a savior. So let's make some bean water. I asked my parents for some coffee, got given this coffee, and then I had to buy coffee filters. These were the only ones available. So, you know, let's do that. So let me show you around my new coffee maker. She has a flappy do. That's where the cold water goes in. She comes with a very clear label warning saying cold water only. I believe she makes up to 12 cups, which is a lot of coffee. We have this, which is where the filter and the coffee goes. It is made out of plastic. Don't know if that's good or bad. Of course, I now own one of these coffee pots. I see them all the time in those old American diner movie scenes. Kind of always wanted one, so now I've got one. I have, from the 70s, American Extra Blend Coffee. I don't think it smells like anything. Should I open it? I kind of don't want to because it's just so nicely sealed. Also, I won't be drinking coffee from the 1970s because, guys, I mean, there's no expiration date. Do I want to start another worldwide pandemic? We also get a little scoopy spoon, which is, I'm guessing, how much coffee you put in. Now, I am bound to get something wrong. I've never used a coffee machine and I don't really make coffee. So if I have done this horribly wrong and you want to redo, let me know. But let's just see how it all pans out. Let's start with the filters. For an ideal fit, fold the filter paper along the bottom line. Place the filter paper in the funnel. Oh, it's called a funnel. We have a funnel and measure the required amount of Harris ground coffee. Sorry, you're getting Vittoria. How do you fit? Oh no, you fit perfect. I don't need to fold you at all. Look at that. That's excitement. I'm going to add one scoop. This one also says espresso. Didn't know my parents even drank espresso because I know espresso is a stronger coffee than coffee coffee. I do love the smell of coffee. I really like the smell. It just, maybe I just haven't had a good cup of coffee. Maybe that's what it is. One scoop, in we go. Wow. I am going to put the funnel back in the machine. I've got a serious question. At the bottom of the funnel is a tiny little hole for the coffee to come through. On the top of the lid is a bigger hole. Am I correct in saying that the lid stays on when the coffee is dripping in? All right, according to the advert, the lid stays on. Also in their advert, they look like they had a lot more coffee in the pot, but I honestly don't wanna be wasting 12 cups of coffee, so I'm gonna stick with my one scoop. I'm going to now add in my cold water. The water is in, the lid is on. And now let's see if she works. Coffee, please. 
Le espresso. I mean, what I assume to be coffee is coming out. I didn't put enough coffee in there, did I? <laughs> it's gonna be so gross. And I think she's done. I'm guessing I now just turn her off because I don't know whether the motor's running. I mean, that was super easy. I just turned a button and now I've got a cup of coffee. I can see why coffee machines are so popular. Close, no, okay, fine. We have coffee. I will be having some coffee in my new favorite vintage cup. <coughs> There's also a birthday present from a very good friend, so yeah. Whilst that cools, I am going to take out the filter and the old coffee ground. I don't know if there's anything left or how it really works. Through my research, I found out that this machine can also make tea if you use loose leaf tea, which I do. So we are going to try this experiment again, but with tea. To test out the tea, I'm gonna do it the exact same way. I'm going to put one of my teapots in underneath. Perfect. Of course, Brian's hair is already on it. And I'm gonna add some fresh water. Okay, let's see if I can replace my husband's job in the morning. Oh, that smells delicious. <laughs> Our tea has finished brewing. So let's see how she went making a cup of tea. Yeah, that tastes like good tea. Let's give the coffee a go. Tastes like coffee. Surprise, surprise. This is not an experiment as to which is better, tea or coffee. And overall, this little machine works absolutely perfectly. I think I might end up using her more as a tea maker than a coffee machine. But yeah, she's a wonderful functioning little vintage product. Of course, actual coffee makers have gone leaps and, and bounds since this guy has come on the market. But if you do see one at a vintage store or a thrift shop, it's definitely worth picking up if it suits your aesthetic. It is a wonderful piece of functioning machinery. That is all I have time for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me on another vintage adventure. I love this little series and I hope to continue finding wonderful vintage products to test out for you. If you see anything interesting, you can always message me on my social media. I love seeing you guys send me links to weird and wonderful things that I will hopefully one day test out for you. If you would like any close-up pictures of this machine, I will have them all on my blog, which you can find in the description box below. And I've also linked the original advert if you want to give that a watch because, you know, vintage adverts are amazing. I will see you guys all next week with a brand new video. But until then, be kind, be true, be you. Feel free to follow me on any of my social media. Everything is linked below. And have a beautiful week. Bye! I wonder if we put tea and sugar, will it all just... Right, right, we can do this. You've got a master's degree, you can make a cup of coffee.